welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. We're going on to Netflix today for a comedy. Yes, I'm at, I'm at odds. I sort of, uh, yeah, I don't like this. I sort of agree with the critics. I'm at odds with Joe Public on this one, but uh, we'll get through it. We'll have, a, we'll have a chat about it anyway. And please, uh, more importantly, let me know what you think of it as well. But I will look at something called Old Dads. Yeah, not old granddads like me, old dads. So have a look at that today. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Everything, film and TV, reviews like this, information, vlogs, previews, you name it. I try and do it. And lots of different things. So if you can give us your support, guys, and spread the word, it'd be most appreciated. And also any likes, any thumbs up you can give me for this. Uh, thank you very much if you like the film or you don't like the film. Eh? It's all opinions, isn't it? It'd be a boring world if we all had the same opinion. So this is directed by Bill Burr. Um, yeah, and I know the face. I'm not, I'm not familiar with his work. Uh, obviously in the US, I think he's got a bit of a following. This is uh, his directorial debut. As, along with Bill Burr, this stars Bobby Cannavale and Bokeem Woodbine. So not too bad. So well, well-known actors. I know them. Uh, Jack Kelly. What's it about? Well, Jack Kelly, Connor Brody, and Mike Richards are best friends, business partners, and old dads. There you go. After oh, we all old, old dads. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, any dad's gonna get old at some stage, isn't it? It's just a strange expression. After agreeing to sell their throwback sports apparel company, they're excited to punch their tickets to the last. They've, lives they've always dreamed of but when the company's made over took over by an eccentric new millennial uh, CEO Jack's anger boils over creating a series of crises at work, home and his son's ultra progressive preschool yes and lots of other places bit of a road movie as well, bit of combined this is released on Netflix on the 20th of October 2023 all these comments and scores I'm going to give you are at the 26th of October 2023 so just just under a week later. Rotten Tomatoes, the critics don't really like it. 38 critics, it's only getting a 24% positivity. 4.3 out of 10, that's 9 fresh and 29 rotten. The consensus reads, with old dads, Bill Burr shows signs of promise as a filmmaker, but they're largely muffled by his fitfully funny screenplay's reliance on tired jokes about generational divides. Yes. Yeah, very tired for me. Metacritic, the other site we look at, their average is 42 out of 100. That's based just on 13 critics. One one was positive. There you go. Well, he's happy. We're happy with himself. Seven were mixed and five negative. And it scored anywhere between as low as zero and 70 out of 100. But here we go. Here's the good. Here's the good part. And as you're one of the public, you might and you might enjoy it. The public like it. The public do. Rotten Tomatoes audience uh, sort of love it. 4.4 out of five. I'll have, I'll have a pint of what they're on. 88% positivity. Their consensus reads, if you're a Bill Burr fan, that might be the problem, uh, then all dad's brand of culture clash comedy should be good for plenty of solid laughs. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, I don't like Bill Burr. I don't really know him, but having watched this, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Internet Movie Database, yeah, not quite as high. But still positive, 6.3 out of 10. And I'm not, we're not talking a couple of hundred reviews. That's 11,000 scores and reviews. So obviously the Bill Burr fans have been out in force uh, to put, put together that sort of score. But as I said, um, it is. I mean, the public like it, the critics don't. And I'm sadly on the side of the critics with this one. So I just thought it was a very, very odd film. It appears to want to be all edgy, adult and funny, but it just comes over very sad and unfunny to me. I just didn't get the humour. Uh, perhaps it's Bill Burr's humour is different to mine. The characters are unlikable, I didn't like them. The story's a bit ridiculous. And as a comedy, I, I, did, I didn't think it fit the genre. I think I did smile a couple of times. I sort of forced myself to try and watch it and concentrate more because I was thinking, what the hell is this? And by, by concentrating more, there was a couple of scenes that made me smile, but uh, it could have been wind, I'm not too sure. Uh, but still good reviews on the Internet Movie Database, so I'm perhaps missing something or perhaps a few brain cells after this, that's for sure. It tries to be a modern, for me, it tries to be a, a sort of modern version of something like the classics, like Grumpy Old Men classics. Well, it's not that old, is it? But it, it is old compared to this. But an angry man sharing his idiotic thoughts just isn't isn't much fun to me. It just made me grumpy. Uh, being miserable and angry, yeah, it's good. It makes good viewing. I mean, I, I can mention Carl Pilkington and an idiot abroad. There you go. There's there's a there's a reason for a, a, an angry 
uh, man being very funny, but uh, this this just wasn't as a film. It just wasn't funny. I don't know too much about Bill Burr, as I said. I, I recognise his face. I've seen him in stuff. But on this evidence, I don't particularly want to know that much more about him. So a strange one for me. As you can see, my scores aren't going to be anything like you've seen on the internet movie database and the Rotten Tomatoes audience. I'm not going to score it because if, it, if something gets less than five, I just don't score it and I would give this less than five. So no score from me. A negative as far as Metacritic is concerned and a rotten as far as Rotten Tomatoes are concerned. I just thought it was very disappointing. But hey, if you liked it, as I say, have you got to be a Bill Burr fan? I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, it'd be great to hear from you. To a minute again. I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.